Mentor, thank you for talking to us. Up to world number seven as we sit here at Blackpool Winter Gardens. Did you ever think you would reach these heights in darts? I never think to see a number seven of the world. I think top 60 maybe, but number seven never think. I uh, first started and played 93 here yeah, in in pub, my brother. And I see 97, I see Phil Taylor play, and Barney. And I see this, I never play so 15 that. Uh, I play 21, 24. I see first time play 15 that. This is perfect. Uh, Taylor is my hero since so 97. You were born in Serbia. You obviously moved to Austria and you left. Was that because of the war? What, what happened when you, were, when you were a younger man that, that made you make that move to Austria? Yeah, that was a shock for the whole family. The mother had every day cried. And you don't know what in Österreich on you comes. You have to start a new life. You start from zero. So you went to Austria. You had your family come over with you, you started this new life. You ran a pub, didn't you? You for a number of years and you started to play darts. How did you become involved in darts when you were in Austria? Yeah, am Anfang war auch sehr schwierig. Ich habe nicht gewusst, was ich spielen soll, wo soll ich hinfahren. Da gibt so viele Turniere bei uns gibt's auch verschiedene Verbände und hier bei meinem Bruder erste Dart gespielt und Da haben es Leute gefehlt und die haben mich gefragt, ob ich in eine Doppel mitspielen soll. Und dann habe ich mitgespielt und ich war ziemlich nicht schlecht. Und mein Bruder hat selber nicht geglaubt, dass ich nie gespielt habe. Und seitdem bin ich immer unter Dartspieler, weil ich habe mir gedacht, kann ich das? Vielleicht habe ich Talent, wenn ich selber früher Basketball, Fußball gespielt habe. Alles sogar sehr gut. Do you still play bas basketball? Aber not in the moment. I'm 84 kilo. And now it's 160. It's no good. You played at the Lakeside. You went to the Lakeside World Championship. So you progressed. You got better and better at darts and you made it to Lakeside. What was that like, going and representing Austria at the Lakeside? I was begeistert. I've never seen so a tournament. Damals haben wir gedacht, besser wie Embassy oder Lakeside gibt es nichts. Ich bin beim Wimau bin ich Fünfter geworden, habe ich gegen Panavelt verloren. Habe ich aber gegen Martin Adams habe ich gewonnen, beste 16, habe ich gegen ihn gewonnen. Das war für Österreich, für uns alle, also ein Wunder. Das gibt es nicht, dass einer von Österreich mitspielen kann mit England. England ist eine Macht beim Dart, das wissen wir alle und dass da einer kommt aus Österreich, kleines Land, dass er mitspielen kann und damals Nummer eins, Martin Edens raushaut und Fünfter bei, bei der Wimmer und in Qualifikation gleich wie, wie Embassy habe ich geschafft, Weltmeisterschaft gespielt und eine Runde auch gewonnen und gegen Mervyn King habe ich damals verloren, die erste Runde habe ich gewonnen, Witze Zwanderfurt und dann verloren gegen Mervyn King. Das war für mich eine Wirklich ein Wahnsinnsturnier. Ich habe so eine Veranstaltung noch nie gesehen. So viele Leute, so viele gute Dartspieler. Ich habe jeden bewundert, geschaut, es das gibt eine, dass ich auch mitspielen kann. Und, aber man fokussiert sich, konzentriert sich. Gott sei Dank war ich auch erfolgreich. There's a lot of enjoyment out there. But let's be fair, you've seen a match here from two overseas players that's been a credit to the Embassy Championship. The finest match I've ever seen in 25 years from overseas players. Mensal is the conqueror, but give credit also to Vincent. When did you decide to move to the PDC and what made you make that decision? Was it the money? Was it the chance to play Phil Taylor? I play still tip when the best player of the world play still tip. And PDC, I play, I see the Taylor, Taylor is my hero. I see him in, in, in Germany, I play. Or I think this is, this is me, 
that. And there came 2007 in Germany, big tournament for, for uh, German, Austria, Swiss play, or best player play uh, world champion and win three years. And then play PDC. And I'm very happy I play PDC. How hard is it to be a dart player and have your family back home in Austria when you're traveling all over? You make a lot of sacrifices to be a professional dart player, don't you? This is very hard for my family. My wife is 40 days in hospital. And they call me every day. This is for my kids, it's very hard. I miss daddy every week. This is, this is that. On the entire thing, he was just flinging those darts, thinking, right, it's all over. Now it's Kim Hybrex who thinks it's all over. Is it? Double, Double 16, 16 for Mensor Sulovic. And the title, and there it is. Mensor Sulovic sinks to his knees. He has added his name to the European Tour's Roll of Honor. Mensur, your big, biggest win so far, your biggest success in the PDC was the European Championship. Now, the big, gentle Austrian who's produced one of the performances of his life now needs tops, and he's got it! He's got it, and look what it means to him. Phil Taylor applauds him and straight away says, well played. Mencil Sulevic today was absolutely outstanding. He's beaten Phil Taylor, he's given him a drubbing 10-3, and arguably Phil Taylor knows it and Sulevic knows it. Surely the performance of his life. What was it like to beat Phil Taylor in a big TV tournament. He's your idol. This is the best moment in my career. Uh, never beat Phil Taylor. I um, lose four or five times. And of this tournament, I um, practice every day, five, six hours. My family is, is hustled. And I think semi-final is perfect. I'm never to losing. I play, I'm focused on my play and I big Phil Taylor. I no, uh, I'm not Miss Dabber or Taylor, no Miss Dabber. I, I play really, really well. This is for me bestest moment. Did you ever think when you saw Phil Taylor on TV back in 1997 that you'd get the chance to play him on ta TV, let alone to go and beat him and average over 100? I think uh, I'm playing Taylor, uh, I've uh, never beat him, never. Uh, this is my hero, this is, I'm playing a hero, this is <laughs> crazy for me. Um, I'm very happy, this uh, is a big problem for me for next game. I'm so happy, I'm going to focus on the next game. And I'm losing, I'm one Kevin, 11 Vantas. <laughs> You are one of the favourites to go and win big TV tournaments. Do you believe that you're going to win one of these big TV tournaments? I, I give my best. I think I am the chance to win this big tournament. Um, I practice every day. This is, I think, next year maybe I play Premier League. This is, I have never played Premier League. This, I think. I look every every time Premier League cover. It's very schwierig. It's truly. <laughs> so, you 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 play darts every day. You play for hours every day. You go to all the tournaments, but even when you're not playing, you're watching darts on the telly. You're watching the Premier League on TV. You live and breathe darts, Mensor. Yes, I, I live that, that is in me, this is, uh, I'm going to holiday, I'm practicing in Rome, this is, my wife tells me, you're crazy, uh, I play that, this is, this is Mensur, this is me. Mensur, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>